Namaste. Today we will discuss about what are the infections which can happen in the brain. Brain is not immune to infection. It can also get infection like any other organ, like lungs or upper stomach. So whatever organs affected by infection, brain also can get affected. There are some infections which occur in some particular ages, may be viral, bacterial or fungal. So let us analyze what are the infections, who are at risk and what is symptoms does it produce, how dangerous they are, what may be the type of treatment which we give to them. Let us now think, uh, see about the infection which commonly occurs in children. There are specific infections which do happen in children. We call it as neonatal meningitis. That is, a newborn child can develop infection because of various reasons, immunosuppression or some amount of bacterial infection which goes into the brain. Generally, by and large, they are curable, they are recoverable. But some children develop a particular condition called ventriculitis. The same infection which can occur in the brain can get into the ventricles and can cause a problem called ventriculitis which can be a disaster. It can lead to problems, not just immediate, it also has long-term sequelae. So what does that produce is a condition called hydrocephalus. Ventricles are basically the water bodies in the brain. So the water normally flows from the brain, it goes into the spinal cord and recycles. So this whole thing is a recycling phenomena. And sometimes because of this infection, the water pathways gets blocked. Thereby, it can cause multiple compartments of water bodies. And this condition is called multiloculated hydrocephalus. This is a very difficult situation because each water body becomes loculated by itself and it can accumulate water and can produce dysfunction of the brain. And moreover, delayed complication like multiloculated hydrocephalus can cause a delay in the brain development. It can cause long-term sequelae, neurological dysfunction, memory disturbances, difficulty walking. So, so many other conditions can happen because of this problem. And once the immediate treatment is to treat the infection, we give intravenous medications, antibiotics, which has to be given based on what infection has occurred. So, we can take the CSF for culture, we will identify the organism, accordingly we need to manage. So usually the antibiotics will re be required for around 2 to 3 weeks and then we will serially do the CSF analysis and if the water is clear then we stop antibiotics. But the delayed complication, what I mentioned you, the multiloculated hydrocephalus, those are not acute infection, there is a sequelae of already infection. So we need to drain those water, otherwise the brain will have a lot of pressure symptoms, brain will not develop properly. So we need to address which are the compartments they are communicating, which are not. And accordingly, they require a shirt or we do a procedure called endoscopic procedure where we break all the loculi and convert into one loculi and then we thereby drain the CSF through into one of the organs, either the stomach or the lungs. So this is a sequelae called multiloculated hydrocephalus which occurs due to ventriculitis in young age and early childhood, which can have long-term sequences. Thank you.